I grew up with two guys that I looked at as Batman. The animated series voice, Kevin Conroy, and the lead actor from the 1989 film, Michael Keaton. With this in mind, I was very excited about the prospect of getting the 89 Batman costume, Batmobile, and AR challenges. Does this DLC deliver, or does it dangle the Batman fans over a rooftop yelling, I'm Batman? Sadly, the second one is true. This DLC is just plain hollow. Although it is inspired by it, this content simply has none of the charm that the 1989 film captured. The dark, slightly off feeling that Burton and Keaton created is all but gone from Rocksteady's offering. I'll concede one thing to this DLC. It's damn fun roaming the streets of Gotham as Michael Keaton's Batman and seeing him make his way through hordes of thugs brought a smile to my face, but that's where the enjoyment stopped for me. It's cool that you can drive the Batmobile around, but since it doesn't have a tank mode, it just feels so lacking and not that much fun. Again, it's cool to be able to control a beautiful on-screen version of the iconic Batmobile, but it just feels so uninspired. That's really the key word here, uninspired. That's what this DLC really embodies. Yes, the AR Batmobile challenge sounds like a good idea, but they just seem so hollow and like window dressing. Like I mentioned earlier, the tracks just don't capture that charm. They feel like less of a part of that universe and more like someone watched the films and did their best to make a few tracks with the same aesthetic. This results in AR challenges that fall flat on their faces and don't invoke any real nostalgia. I hate being so negative about this because I love the Arkham Knight base game. I've beat it on normal and new game plus while completing the side missions outside of the Riddler trophies to 100%. Thus far, the DLC has just felt, well, uninspired. And the 1989 Batmobile pack is no exception. The Batman Arkham Knight 1989 Batmobile pack gets a 3 out of 10.